Hello, my name is Tyler Young and I am a support engineer at Go Engineer. And in today's quick tip video, I want to show you how to link custom properties to your drawing title block so that uh, when you insert an item or insert a part with custom properties, it will automatically insert those into your drawing. So first, let's take a look here. We have our bracket and let's just insert this into a new drawing and show you what I'm getting right now. So here's my drawing. I put a view in. Come down here to this title block. This is a default title block that comes with SolidWorks. And you'll see this is our title block and we want to have items be automatically populated in this title block. Um, right now nothing's coming in automatically. But what we want to do, let's in this example say we want to apply, uh, make a material and the weight of the material automatically come in each time we create a new drawing. So what we're going to do is link these properties and then save this as a template. All right, to do that, we're going to edit our sheet format. And then we have this title block on the sheet format, so we need to say define title block. We can zoom back in here. And right here is a note, and we want to include this note in our title block. So I'm just going to say select there and include that. Right here in our weight item, we don't have a note, so we're going to have to do something extra for that. So right now we're going to click OK. We can now select this note here, but again, we don't have a note there. So we need to insert a new note. I'm going to just put this note up here, type something in it just to give me a placeholder. Then I'm going to drag this note down to this weight location. Come back into the title block and select that note. So now that note is part of our title block as well. Okay, I accept that. So now I have these two notes that I can click and use. Um, so what we want to do is come into this note and we want to link this note to a property. We want to link it to a property in the model that is used in the sheet property, so the model that we're using. If we select that, we can come here and we can link to these different items, but we don't actually have a custom property for this part yet. So before we actually do this, before we are able to link this, we need to exit that and let's go back to that part. So we can see this part actually doesn't have a material applied. So we're going to come in and apply a material. Let's just say a simple plain carbon steel material. So now we have a material applied and with that comes a weight. But we still need to do additional feature, additional work to be able to get that into our drawing title block. We need to make a file property. And you can click this button up here, the file properties, or you can also come file and click properties. The way we need to do this is make these a custom material, so or a custom property. So here our property name, this is what we're going to call our property. The first one we're going to choose is we want to call the property material. Now we need to make this, uh, give this a value somehow. So we can come in and use default or built-in values that SolidWorks has. Here we're going to say material. As soon as I do that, it pulls in a the code that SOLIDWORKS uses for this material, for this custom property, and then it gives us the value that it's evaluating to right now. Let's do the same thing for weight. And you can see as soon as I do that, it does give that part some weight as well. All right, so that's what I need to do inside my part file. Let's come back into the drawing file going to say that some sheets are out of date. Yeah, let's update them. That's just fine. Let's come back into editing the sheet format. And now we can click in this note. I'm going to double click the note, delete out the items that are in there. And now I want to link to property. So now when I say link it to the model in the view, that now has a material and a weight. So I just click material, click OK. And that now gives me my material there. So I can click and move that away. 
I can click in this note, double click in there, delete out what's in there, and link it to the property of weight. Oh, I need to change it to the model, and then link it to the weight. Okay. As you can see, this note is a lot larger and different than this note, and that's because this was a custom created note. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in really quick, change the color on that using my line style toolbar. Just going to come in and change that to this gray color. Um, and then I'm also going to not use the document font, just use a custom font, and this font I want is a nine point font. So I OK that, and now it's about the right size, and I can save that in there, move that in there. OK, so exit that. So now for this item, you can see we have our part, we have our material, and our weight. And that's great, but this is just this individual drawing. We now need to save this as a template so that in future times we use this template, it will automatically open with this weight, the weight and the material inserted there. So to do that, I'm going to delete out my view, say yes to delete it, and then I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to change this from saving as a drawing to a drawing template. Um, it automatically points it to my drawing template location, and I'm just going to call this template um, material. I'm going to save that. Um, so it says the templates only store um, empty views, different things. We'll just click OK on that. Now I'm going to close this. And let's go to a different part. Here in this other part, I've already created uh, this part with a material, and I've already defined the weight and the material. So I'm just going to insert this into a new drawing, my material template that I've just created. I'm going to pull in just any view here. I'm going to click OK. And you can see it already comes up with that material and with that weight. So in this video, we went through a way of customizing your drawing templates and saving them for future use so that they are linked automatically with custom properties you have to find in your part. You can do the same thing with assemblies. This has been a quick tip video. I hope you have enjoyed it.